one right let's get on to our second new phoneme for this week now can you remember i said yesterday in our lesson that all of these phonemes are making the same sound can you remember what sound that is you're right, it's E. So let's have a look at what letters are making that E sound today. Okay, shall we do it in a wibbly wobbly voice first? Just to make sure we definitely know that it's E. My turn. E. Your turn. What two letters can you see making the E sound today? We've got the letters E and E. Now remember when they're two letters, it makes a diagraph, but this isn't just any diagraph. Can you tell me what kind of diagraph this is today? It's a split diagraph. You're right. Let's turn it over and find out what our card says on the back. Oh, I can see. He looks like a Lego man. And he looks like he's wearing a Father Christmas suit. And the rhyme is Steve dresses up on Christmas Eve. Can you say that for me? It's a bit of a long one today, isn't it? Let's turn it over and do it all together. E. Steve dresses up on Christmas Eve. E. And I can see there are some words at the bottom. So get your fingers ready to help me blend them. My turn. E. V. Your turn. The word was Eve. My turn. F. E. S. Your turn. Blend it. The word was these. My turn. Ch. I, N, E, S. Your turn. Blend it. The word was Chinese. And now let's go on to those Fred words. Fred fingers ready. My turn. Ch, E, D. Your turn. Blend it. The word was cheed. How many phonemes are in that word as well? Should we have a check? There were three. Let's have another go. My turn. T, R, E, P, your turn. Blend it. The word was treep. And last one, my turn. K, O, E, M, your turn. Blend it. The word was clean. Those are some funny Fred words. Let's go and read some real and alien words now. Okay, let's have a go at these real and alien words then. Grown-ups, you can pause it here so the children can look at them and write the words down before popping the sound buttons on, but I'm going to start. Let's start over here. F, E, N, theme. Theme is a real word. So theme can be like the theme of a film. So is it a funny film? Is it a scary film? And let's go over here. Ch, E, N, Cheen. Mm, what do you think? That's an alien word. It doesn't make any sense. S, A, N, P, E, T, Sam, Pete. Oh. What do you think, Sam Pete? No, that's got to be an alien word. K O M P U E T. Complete. Complete is a real word, like when you finish something. So once you would have done this, you would have completed your phonics. P E T. Pete. Pete is a real word. And did you spot that actually this has a capital letter? So it's somebody's name. And the last one, g r e t, greet. Mm, this actually is an alien word. It does sound like a real word, like when you greet somebody and you say hello, but that is actually spelt like that. So this one with our split diagraph is an alien word. Okay, let's have a go at reading this sentence in. Grown-ups, you can pause it here to give the chance for the children to write it down before they pop the sound buttons on. But I'm going to start now. I'm going to flip my board a little bit. Are you ready? The. It's a red word. We know that word very, very well now. T, r, a, p, e, s, trapeze. Do you know what a trapeze is? 
A trapeze is something that they use at the circus. So somebody will hold on to these bars that hang in the air and they swing on them to fly through the air. Oh, another red word. Was. Extreme. Extreme. To. Complete. Complete. The trapeze was extreme to complete. A bit faster with some more expression. The trapeze was extreme to complete. Do you think you could have a go at a trapeze? Think it might be a bit too extreme for you as well. Maybe after this video, have a little look on YouTube of somebody going on a trapeze and you can decide whether you think it'd be too extreme for you as well. Okay, let's have a go at forming that E then. So this is a split diagraph. So it means we have to do something special when we're forming it. We always have to remember that there's a dash in the middle of the E sound that we can hear and the magic E we see at the end. Now let's start and I'm going to show you something as well that I notice that lots of us do in class that we don't actually need to do. So let's start with our first E because there are two. So we're going to touch the line, sweep up over scoop out the egg sweep off do our dash in the middle and then the same again touch the line sweep up over scoop out the egg and sweep off now lots of us in, of us in class tend to do this on top and that's our arc but you must remember that we only do that when we're putting sound buttons on so if it was a word that we were actually trying to read so i'm going to rub that off and try and remember we only need the dash in the middle. So let's try it again. I'm trying my hardest to make sure that my E's, even though they're apart, are the same size. So I wonder if you can start doing, writing a line of your E for me. Okay, let's have a look at what words we're going to be writing today. Oh, the first one is actually a kind of vegetable. It grows in the ground and it's called swede. Let's sound that out. S -w -e -d. You can pause it here, grown-ups. I'm going to start writing it down. So, s-w-e. Remember, what's that next sound we can hear? And then that magic key gets popped on the end as well. Swede. The next one is actually a picture of a road, but I'm more talking about what the road is made of. It's made of concrete. Let's sound that out. K O N K R E T. I'm going to start writing it. Hope you've already had a go. K O N K R E T. Remember that magic E on the end. Concrete. And the last one, I've got a picture of a clock here and it's pointing at five o'clock because after five o'clock is when we call it the evening. Let's sound that out. E v n i n. I'm going to have a go. E v. And this one's a bit trickier because this is where the magic e goes. E v n i n. Evening. Okay, let's have a go at our dictated sentence then. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on those words that are going to have an E for Steve dresses up at Christmas Eve in them, okay? So, are you ready? The Swede is as hard as concrete. The Swede is as hard as concrete. Grown-ups, you can pause it here to let them start, but I'm going to have a go. So, the capital letter, 
Swede. W e d. Swede is. I s is as. A s as hard. R for start the car. D hard as. A s as concrete. O n k r e t. Oops, got a little bit stuck there. Concrete. The Swede is as hard as concrete.